What's up everybody, James here with another video for you, and today I am kind of doing a, is it a, I haven't actually thought this through, but I guess it's a vlog, um, I forget what number it is, um, but I'm sure I'll figure it out at some point or another, uh, uh it's vlog 14, hmm, so vlog number 14. Alrighty, let's get into it. First off, brand new toy haul. Um, not Transformers Store Hero Factory. It's actually the Marvel, the Marvel, the Lego Marvel, Marvel Super Build, Superheroes Ultra Build. Um, Captain America on the left and Iron Man here on the right. So really. I bought these characters just to see what they were like because really I'd you know these were very very recently advertised on the TV so I thought I might as well just sort of um invest a little bit of money and just see what they're like um so I got these guys and I must say if I actually bring the camera in and just turn off a light to see where I get to yeah that works out now I must say starting with Iron Man I love this Iron Man figure he is act he's actually pretty darn awesome. Um, the head itself, the head itself is actually quite cool. The eyes are painted um quite a nice um sea blue or aqua blue. It's a very nice color, gold face and pretty much red um, mold. So it's a very nice head on its own. Um, you have the very specific um, imprinted chest plate for Iron Man. Um, this little chest piece here. Um, it's very well detailed and it resembles Iron Man a lot. But um, as I saw in Lego Jang's review of these of these guys, and Iron Man especially, really you could probably see this chest plate being used on another character. And if you actually remember Ferno, in fact, if you give me a moment, this is Fer Hero Factory Breakouts. Hero Factory Breakouts Ferno's chest plate um here if i may remove the hero core you actually notice that these little pictures or or these little stickers are literally printed on and you can't remove them or anything so you would have it normally like this but with this new build and f you know there's no stickers on it at all and this set actually gives you three of these so that's actually pretty impressive and um, there's a core lot of gold with Iron Man, obviously considering he he was the main red and gold, so there's no surprise there. Um, not seeing a lot of silver other than the giant piece on his back here. You know, it would have been a nice it would have been nice to see a little bit of silver on him, but don't worry, I'm not complaining. And then there is Captain America. Now, believe me, Captain America is just awesome looking. Don't even get me started on how cool his, you know, his his logo shield looks. It just looks that cool. And the cool part is, is that it's super thin, pretty much like a frisbee as well. So therefore, you know, if you wanted to, you could throw it at something and it'll go very far distances and stuff. So yeah. Now, compared to Iron Man... Captain America's build was very much similar and in other parts very different because if I zoom around to the back you'll notice that there are a lot of different parts sticking out of his back and going all over the place. Now one big thing that now the number one reason why they did this was number one to have these extra arm plate these extra body plating at the front to ex have these body this these armor panels extended outward and you know and really you know that to have that there but um they overlap around the arm oh wait oh that's it and um, they overlap around the arm socket ju that's just in there um so therefore you forward wise you won't get any many a lot of articulation and the panel 
the arm panel here itself actually reduces a bit of articulation, but you can get a lot of backward articulation from this figure. Um, but overall, you need a really, really cool figure, and I love the way they did the head, the head sculpt. Um, they got it really, they got it great to two Captain America, if you ask me. Now, I haven't seen a, I haven't you know, read or seen any of Captain America's comic books, but um, from what I saw of Captain America's movie, Captain America the First Avenger, um, I'd say they got it pretty darn good to it. Um, by the way, these figures, um, both Captain America and Iron Man, have been brought out, in, as well as the, the Hulk as well, which I will be showing you guys hopefully sometime soon, I think. Um, these guys have been released just ahead of the Avengers, the Avengers movie that's coming out literally, I think, next weekend. So it'll be great to see what um, the, mo the movie itself is actually all about, and I hope it's really, really good. Um, just on another point, if I move the camera over here, look down, and then turn on the light. Or I just keep the light off altogether. Well, I'm sorry, sorry, I was trying to fix something there, but never mind. Here we have some recently painted Hero Factory f head or helmets that I've recently been doing. Um, some of them you would most definitely recognize from one or two of my videos, others, you know, you haven't seen before. Um, here we have Rocka's helmet, you know, very simply. Um, all that I've done is add a couple of, you know, minor paint, paint applications to him. You know, just on the side is a little dish, it's a little sort of like radio, radio thing thing there, his eye, his eye sculpt. Um, round the bottom of his face on the other side as well. So, yeah, there's that. Um, here's the other rock of face that I have, and I cut a little hole in it, so therefore you could see his mouth. Um, you know, the very same paint applications. Oh, and I also did this, what would look like a little light on the side of his head. So I have the rock heads. Here we have a Ferno head, and I tried to paint the sort of area around the eyes, the exact same as what you would have seen in the Hero Factory Breakout um, Part 2 special. Um, yes, it is. The Hero Factory Breakout episodes are now online. There's only two of them, but I'm sure they'll be coming out more this summer of 2012. So, just get on with it. Um, I have painted, you know, as I've said, around his eyes. I've painted this little speak microphone or speaker well, but it looks like his chin, um, a little light sort of thing on the side of his head. What would look, what also looks like a piston, same side, other side as well. And then I've also painted the top of his head here with silver, and the very back fit there with silver. So there's that. And at last, I come to, and and get the light back on. And at last, I come to Evo's head. Evo. Um, now I've painted many areas of it just to inc just to make it seem a bit more accurate to not only the gunmetal grey colour of Evo but armour panel of colour of Evo but um, just get it to what it looks like on the TV on the Hero Factory's breakout um, episodes so you know you have the visor both sides of his face and um, this little speaker or you know sort of signal receiver here and the back of his head now, if you haven't already noticed, Evo's head is much like what it was in um, Hero Factory 2.0. Um, now, I've seen images for this summer's Hero Factory sets, the, the Wave 2, or the Part 2 of Hero Factory Breakout. And what I've noticed is that Nexus head is exact same, is very similar, like Evo's, is very similar to what his 2.0 version was like. So I'll be looking forward to seeing what that's all about. Um, I'm just looking. Ah, there he is. And also my 
Transformers Prime Cyberverse Megatron. I've actually started to paint him, um, so therefore, you know, instead of the sort of like, uh, sort of like very plain grey colour, it's now silver as it should be. In fact, you can even see it's shining a little bit there. Um, so that that's the main thing I'm trying to get across. Um, as many parts as I can, I'll try to get painted silver is basically what I'm trying to get across. So, yeah. Sorry about that. Um, yes, that's, that's what it was. Um, by the way, that's my Android scroll over there charging. Um, including my very first Iron Man here. I'm actually going to hold on to this guy and I'm not going to take him for spur. And I'm only going to replace one part because I don't want to actually take this guy apart now. He's actually so cool. But... I have a, I've bought a second Iron Man. And just so you know that I didn't just spin him around the back of my laptop. That's all the proof you need. But anyway. But anyway. I've, I've bought this Iron Man because I want to get the same part out of him. You know, only to replace it with, say, a silver. But that's it. Um... I actually want to do a contest. Um, I know, um, unfortunately, um, because of what we do here in the UK called GCSEs, I'm going to have m some some brand new GCSEs coming up within the next two months. Whoopee! <sighs> but anyway, for I hope sometime maybe after they finished and you know I have a lot more spare time, I hope to do the contest. Um, what the rules of the contest are at the minute, I'm not sure myself. I haven't thought it through yet. But um, but what I do know is that Iron Man, this Iron Man, is going to be the prize. That's right. Um, if I buy anything else, anything else that I don't want or want to give away in the contest, um, you know, I'll be sure to add that in. Um, but um, if you want to start thinking about the contest now, here are some key things you may want to um, you may want to have whenever you go to enter the contest. Number one, you must be subscribed to my channel. At, that's Night Slash Twenty Twenty Junior. You must if you if you don't have a Facebook page, you know, just if you do have a Facebook page, you should go and like me at my at my Facebook page, which also is called Night Slash Twenty Twenty Junior, and you know, you must ensure that you have both of those areas filled out, um, and then you can you can make a video if you want. Um, it can be a funny video, it can be a cool video, it can be it can even be a video response or stop motion, um, as long as it involves anything to do with Transformers, Bionicles, here Bionicle, Hero Factory, even these Ultra Build guys, Generator Rex. That's that's a new feature that I'm actually adding in. So if you want to do anything about that, re remember this. And if you don't know what it is, don't worry. Just type into Google Images or Google Search Generator Rex. Just um, type that in, and that's you know one of the new sort of categories that I'm doing for the contest. So Transformers, Bionicles, Hero Factory, Generator Rex, even these. Marvel's Super Build, Ultra Build characters. It can even be DC Ultra Build characters. Um, so yeah, those are the main sort of figures that you can do for the contest. Um, so yeah. Um, so if you wanna, you can make it funny, you can make it cool, as I've said. No rude comments, you know, like... Well, you know, bad, bad words. You know, I want... You know, the internet has a lot of kids watching it these days, so you know what I mean. But um, it can be on anything like that, and really, that's it for now. Um, sorry, I'm looking around to see if there's anything I can talk about. Randomly looking about. And that's it for now. Alrighty. Like me and... Uh, 
Alrighty, this is Night Slash 2020 Junior. Subscribe to my channel for videos and more. Like me on Facebook by searching for Night Slash 2020 Junior. I recently did a super cool poster for Crosshairs 001. Go check it out on his Facebook page. Um, it, um, have a nice day. See you all around. And until next time, bye guys.